Welcome back, you guys. Today is part three of my periorbital rejuvenation series. I will link part one and part two down in the description box below. And today's subject is the appearance of dark circles around the eyes. One thing to keep in mind, which is really, really common, specifically amongst people of a deeper skin tone, are genetic dark circles. In other words, you have pigmentation here, and when you look at your relatives, you see the same thing, and it's very stubborn and very difficult to get rid of. I would say the most important thing to keep in mind if that is what you're suffering from and if it bothers you is number one, to know that that's how you're made and that's okay. But if you do want to work with it and lighten it, it's a good idea to maintain realistic expectations. In other words, you can do several different types of treatments, but you should have realistic expectations in knowing that you may not be able to remove the dark circles completely, in which case makeup is always your friend. And these days there are so many influencers and makeup gurus on YouTube and other social media platforms that I would suggest you find someone that's of a similar skin tone to you, and chances are they will have a whole bag of tips and tricks on how to minimize and conceal dark circles around the eyes. Having said that though, what can we do to help with pigmentation? Well, the number one thought that comes to mind is both prevention of sun damage and treatment of sun damage. The sun can often be responsible for dark circles around our eyes as well as physical irritations such as rubbing our eyes from whether it's allergies or just a force of habit. What you wanna do is make sure you use a high SPF sunscreen to protect that skin area. Sunglasses also help protect that skin area. And also you want to incorporate antioxidants that help fight free radicals and help fight sun damage. At the same time, you can use other skincare products that contain antioxidants and apply them in the periorbital area. So for example, if you follow my channel, if you know the sunscreens I recommend, they're all non-chemical sunscreens and chemical sunscreens can irritate sensitive skin or the skin around your eye area. So a mineral sunscreen would be ideal here and you can look at my sunscreen videos. There are so many great sunscreens to choose from that are safe to uh, pull up all the way underneath the eye. In terms of antioxidants, um, one that I use and I love is the Skin Better Science Alto that contains 19 antioxidants and it's also perfectly safe to pull up to the periorbital area. And as I've said before, you don't necessarily need an eye cream although eye creams can be beneficial in certain cases, and I'll get into that in a minute. An antioxidant serum that's gentle, for example, one that has a vitamin C ester rather than L-ascorbic acid, which needs to be at a very low pH, which can be irritating to the skin, can be very beneficial underneath and around the eye. So you can absolutely use a vitamin C or antioxidant serum that has a vitamin C ester around the eyes. So you've got your sunscreen, you've got your antioxidants. What else can you do to work with the pigmentation around the eyes? Well, just like the face, you can help increase that cell turnover by loosening up the outermost skin cell layer and having those cells not stick together anymore and slough off. And one way to do that is with an alpha hydroxy acid. The most gentle of the alpha hydroxy acids is mandelic acid because it's a large molecule, so it doesn't penetrate as deeply into the skin. And glycolic acid is a tiny molecule, so it penetrates through the skin very easily. If you use a glycolic acid on your face and if you can tolerate it in the eye area, it's okay to use it there. If you're sensitive, you might wanna try either a lower concentration of glycolic acid or just use the most gentle alpha hydroxy acid possible, which would be a mandelic acid product. You could also try lactic acid, which is bigger than glycolic acid and see how that works for you. Again always, always listen to your skin. It's always communicating with you, telling you that 
it likes something, it doesn't like something, something irritates it, whether it be fragrance or various types of products. So just go easy. And if you don't wanna go out and spend a bunch of money initially, just look at what, what face products you have and some of them may be okay to use around the eye area, like an antioxidant serum like Alto, for example. Now, moving on, just a quick note to remind you that if you use Latisse, Latisse can cause dark darkness around the eye. So just keep that in mind as a possible cause if you're experiencing dark circles under the eyes that you didn't have in the past. If you're looking to lighten pigmented skin around the eye, you might want to try a hydroquinone, which is a bleaching agent which is controversial, but in small doses and without extended prolonged use is perfectly safe. I think a lot of hydroquinone products have been taken off the market in the US, but I believe you still can get a different 2% hydroquinone. If not, I would suggest to see your doctor or your dermatologist and get a prescription. Medical skincare lines like Zio Skin Health have a phenomenal hydroquinone. They have two hydroquinone products. One is uh, just for the day, that's a hydroquinone, and the other one is a blending cream that's designed to penetrate deeper and it's applied together with a retinoid. And it's a beautiful, effective system if you want to go that route you can get less expensive hydroquinone products with just a regular prescription at a pharmacy as well a hydroquinone can be irritating but again if it is you can take a smaller amount and mix it with a hydrator so the concentration is lower and just start slowly and watch your skin watch how it responds and build up over time if you can other things you can consider are arbutin for skin lightening, also kojic acid can be used as well as niacinamide. And those products can also help with darkened pigmentation around the eyes and the skin in general. And another product would be licorice root extract. So, you, so there's a slew of various lightening agents and of various possible potential irritation or irritability. Irrit, irrit, possible irritation that you could try around the eyes and see what works for you. And of course, there's our trusted and true retinoid, which you know, if you're gonna only use two products and you're on a deserted island, it's gonna be retinoids and sunscreen, according to me. Uh, you can start with a retinol or slowly, slowly build up to a tretinoin. If you saw my evening skincare routine recently, I wanted to show you that you can really balance whatever your skin needs. You can use a retinol, and if you're very, uh, you're, if your skin's adjusted well to it, but it doesn't tolerate tretinoin, you can take your retinol and add just a drop of that tretinoin into your retinol just to increase the concentration of what you're using by a little bit without using the full strength tretinoin. So you can build up slowly. Again, you look at your periorbital area, you see how it's responding and you go from there. But retinol has so many benefits and the anti-aging one is huge. If you can slowly build up using a retinoid around the eye, you will have so many benefits. Not only will it help with the hyperpigmentation, it will also help with thickening of the dermis, which will reduce fine lines and wrinkles. And this area is the first to age because the skin here is the most sensitive and thin. Now, if your under eye darkness comes from vasculature and shadowing, you can use another approach. You can tackle this problem at home by constricting the blood vessels by applying cold to the eye area, whether it's a spoon you kept in the fridge or an eye mask that you keep refrigerated so it's cold at all times. Other things that constrict the blood vessels include caffeine, so you can use eye creams that have caffeine in them. So that would be one time where I would say an eye cream could be beneficial when it has specific ingredients that will target, for instance, darkness and though that type of ingredient will not typically be found in face products and caffeine is one of those so products with caffeine or if you're on a budget you can just use coffee grounds that you use to make coffee with and put them in a little sachet or gauze and apply them to the eye 
or you can use tea bags that are cold as well. So refrigerate a caffeinated tea bag and apply that to the eye. So those would be uh, do-it-yourself at home remedies. Otherwise, as I mentioned, you can use eye creams that have caffeine and uh, blood vessel constrictive properties. The Elast and Restorative Eye Treatment is excellent. Not only does it help clean up the extracellular matrix by removing dysfunctional old elastin and collagen, it also helps stimulate uh, the synthesis of new healthy elastin and collagen. It also contains oak leaf extract and green tea to help with the darkness around the eyes, as well as niacinamide and cross polymer microspheres, which help with, it, it's a reflective property, so it helps reduce the appearance of the dark circles around the eye. The second eye cream that I'm a fan of that also helps with dark circles is actually the Skin Better Science Eye Max. This is an evening cream that contains a retinoid in it. It has many hydrating properties. It contains a lot of antioxidants, alpine extract to help with the barrier function, chamomile, as well as a blend of wild, wild flowers, which helps brighten the skin area and diminish the dark circles around the eyes. It has ceramides, matrixyl 3000, niacinamide, and glycerin for hydration. So it's actually an excellent comprehensive eye cream that pretty much has all the ingredients you want to work with dark circles. It has a retinol, it has antioxidants, it has lightening properties. And I do have a video on just IMAX if you're interested to know more about the ingredients in that product. In terms of supplements, vitamin K supplements are great, not only because they help uh, reduce our bone resorption or our bone shrinkage, but they also help clear out hemosiderin, which is a byproduct of red blood cells. So when that clears out, that also improves uh, the dark tone of the skin. And lastly, procedures. If you want to tackle darkness with in-office procedures, you can have a laser treatment in the in the under eye area and that works to tighten the skin. It helps reduce wrinkles and fine lines and it can help target dark circles. That's sort of the scope of all the possible things you could do to tackle dark circles around the eye. But most importantly, be patient with yourself. Dark circles are difficult to treat. It is a process and it is a lengthy process. So while you're doing all these different steps, whichever ones uh, you choose to try for yourself, Remember, makeup is always your friend. If you feel self-conscious, if it really bothers you, you can always apply concealer or foundation to help with that. But if you're steady and consistent and you persevere, chances are you will improve the darkness. But again, depending on the cause of the darkness, it's important to have realistic expectations. I hope this video helped you. If you have any more questions, please leave them for me down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.